Hi, and welcome back to part two of our video, Unit 2.1 on slopes and rate of change. We're beginning with that example number four, looking at our TIN spire. So here is that example. Here's that function that I placed into the graph. And why do I place it into the graph? Because now I have a function. And as I can, if I remember, if I tab, I can see it right there. It's function labeled number one. So if I tab over to a calculator, I can actually use all that data and plug it in and get all that information really simply. And I'll show you how that looks. If you're using your calculator, you can hit the variable button and you're prompted with your functions from your graph. So you click on it and you could type in 15 and that gives it to you. Or the shortcut is literally to type it in F1 of. And so F1 of up and then 15 the same information as you can see this is how i plugged it in but this is the true information down here if you, this is your ap exam the bottom one is what i highly recommend you do you waste less time so going back to our ooh, gotta find where i was going back to this um i plugged it in and that's where all this information came from on bottom. I just plugged it in to my calculator. But if this is an AP exam, especially the free response, just because you plug it into your calculator does not mean you fail to show it on your page. And that's exactly what I did. And I didn't forget my units of measure. Okay. The only other thing I want to talk to you guys about is that uh, summary. And oh, I had one more example. I lied to y'all. Example number five. So. This is another one where it, this is where our notation comes from. So we're given this data, and this time we're asked to estimate F prime of 1870. So in your head, you think F prime. F prime is my derivative. My derivative is my slope, but specifically, it's instantaneous slope. Well, I don't have any information to do instantaneous, but I can estimate average. So what we're going to do is we're going to estimate around it. We're going to look at both 1880 and 1860. So we see that we have a rate of change of 0.94 population in millions per year. So that's just another example of how we do instantaneous versus our average. But as you can see, I made sure to put in, it's an estimation. It's not an equal, it's not, does not equal it. So here's our wrap up. Here's our closure. The big things you have to recognize from this is secant versus tangent. Secant hits at two points. This is what we talk about with our averages. Tangent hits at that exact one point. That is that instantaneous rate of change. That is the true definition of our derivative. Rate of change, the ROC, if you saw that throughout, that was simply means rate of change in the future. If you see ROC, that is what I'm referring to. Instantaneous versus average. Again, instantaneous means at that point. What is the rate? What's happening? Uh, that is our tangent. Very good. And our average rate of change, again, that's between two values and all of the stuff in between those two values is approximately that same average rate of change. Down here, I just wanted to notate the difference of our notation. This is a function. This is a derivative. And I leave for you as we move forward to next time. What is a derivative? If you can answer it in one word or less, you're right there with us. You're ready for next class. Okay. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time in 2.2.